This piece is in the F12 as well, isn't it? Yes, for the larger F12s. What do you call this? Like a locking ring or something? Yeah, your locking ring. Is, so what is the part that you have to be careful about not over tightening? You said the preload? Yeah, it's this locking ring. So mm -hmm. it's just your preload would be how tight your bearing will spin on your shaft. And your locking nut is what's going to put that crush down on those two bearings, which is going to be your preload. What happens if you have it too loose? If you have it too loose and your bearings, as they wear out, they can kind of move. Oh, so it's just longevity problems. Yeah. Uh, how do you know how much force you're applying to this? Just by feel? By feel. Uh, do you use a tool to put it on, to tighten it? Yes. What's the tool, just a spanner? Spanner wrench. And you could theoretically use a spanner wrench and just reef on it, or you can give it a tap on each side. The vibration kind of loosens it up, and you can just go by feel. So how much, how much force do you, do you think you'd put on this? 20 foot pounds. 20 foot that. pounds, okay. But and in the literature doesn't state how much you should be putting on? No. No? What, is, what, what does it say? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. He's got, he's got the literature right here. Don't mind how to use your computer. Shaft lock, is that what they're calling it? Shaft lock knot? Yeah. You're right, they don't actually give you a number. They just say bearing preload has been obtained when the spacer ring can be moved sideways without being loose. That's pretty subjective. Yeah. <laughs> and if you get it wrong, your customers get really angry at you. That's why it's good to deal with companies that have been around for a while. All the mistakes have been made on all the previous customers.